I mean, yeah. I'm very, very long Bitcoin. Um, people ask me, you know, on Twitter, I got into a long conversation with a guy over the weekend, and, uh, you know, he, he asked me what my favorite Bitcoin companies were, and I said, none. I said, you know, right now you just want to own the underlying commodity. Like, Google didn't choose to be in the USD, you know, US dollar business. Google is a business that's amazing that just happens to get paid in US dollars. Yeah. Similarly, I'd rather own Bitcoin than try to find the onesie twosie guy at the edges right now. Now, over the long history of time, there will need to be on ramps, on ramps and off ramps, and companies will be successful. But in the short term, owning that currency and allowing water to find its level, particularly in the developing markets, is huge. And if you don't think that this thing is going to rip when Brazil goes through a devaluation, when the Indian rupee continues to get crushed, when you have all of this money trying to get in and out of these countries where there's massive you know, political instability or monetary or financial instability, you're being naive. It doesn't matter what happens in the United States. It doesn't matter what happens in Japan. It doesn't happen, matter what happens in the EU. It doesn't matter. It matters what happens in Argentina, in Venezuela, in Kenya, in Brazil, in India, in Russia, in yep. China. And when you look at where all the activity is, it's in all of those markets. Yep. This will be born out of a people's desire to have unfettered access to capital. Yep. So again, yep. on that sociological theme, that's another area which ah, I, like. I I know friends who had their wealth stolen uh, in, in uh, some of the Euro European countries, right? Sure. And that, that freaks out anybody else who has wealth in those countries and they start thinking about, oh, how, how can I protect I mean, my wealth? Look yeah. at what the Nazis did during World War II. It's disgusting. You know, if you had ways to protect and hide your wealth, your hard-earned money, you know, yep. I mean, it's, this, I think it's a really profound, important thing.